What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross, back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 times wrestlers save their opponent from serious injury. Now, when you're in the wrestling business, of course you're supposed to sell the image of hurting your opponent. And sometimes you may end up landing some stiff shots, some stiff chops, whatever the case may be, and you may end up getting bruised up. You know, you're supposed to, you know, sometimes go out there and, and sell that. Well, you're supposed to always go out there and sell that image of really hurting each other. But at the same time, you also got to protect each other. It's it's a very weird song and dance with wrestling. You're supposed to hurt each other, make it look like you're really hurting each other, but at the same time, got to make sure one another is safe so in certain situations if a spot is a little bit off you got to do your best to make sure that person is okay in the ring so we're going to check out some of these moments where uh people had to pretty much save that other wrestler from being hurt or seriously injured appreciate all the love and support we got uh you guys have shown on the channel man let's get right into this one man is this on the dangerous nature of wrestling means that injuries can occur in an instant. Today, we'll be focusing on those close calls where Ooh. wrestlers averted danger thanks to their opponents. As we look at a number of cases where wrestlers saved each other from injury. What the hell? Oh my god! Oh my, oh my gosh! Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh my god! Jesus. And once again, if you're if you're thinking about it, why would your opponent help you while you're stuck in the ropes? Well, you would need to because those ropes are very tight. And, you know, like we saw with the Dolph Ziggler one, that definitely looked like it could tear some ligaments if you just stuck there. First, we'll go into the 2023 Crown Jewel event, where Logan Paul challenged Rey Mysterio mm -hmm. for the US title. During the bout, Rey went for a springboard moonsault off the ropes. However, Logan was out of position to probably yeah. catch Mysterio for the move, leading to a very close call Ooh. that could have resulted in a serious neck injury for Rey. Logan Paul initially responded to the incident with humor. I was just trying to body slam him and it hurt him. <laughs> nah, nah. Rey Mysterio ain't going out on an accident. Rey Mysterio's going out by these hands. Before then analyzing the spot after watching it back. I think I was too far back for the move. Mm -hmm. And I think he didn't clear enough ground for the move. There was too much distance from this rope to Logan Paul. Mm -hmm. Almost head first, spike down. Kudos to Logan actually being aware of it and, you know, for the most part, catching him. You know, some people are saying, well, maybe Ray would have, you know what I'm saying, caught himself and possibly, but it's still good enough to have that instinct go, let me move a little bit closer so I can somewhat save the move. Logan Paul. The Invasion pay-per-view in 2001 had an awkward stage design that wasn't even finished when the show went on the air. The two entrance ramps were meant to signify the divide between the WWF and the Alliance, as wrestlers from opposing franchises would come out different ways. But the poorly mm -hmm. laid out stage nearly caused what could have been a nasty fall for Trish Stratus after a match. However, luckily, she was saved right in the nick of time by her tag partner on the night, Lita. Trish and Lita pick up the win. Oh. The Stars Clash Ooh. is a unique maneuver because Very it calls close. for a wrestler taking it to avoid tucking their chin. This mm -hmm. goes against wrestlers' first instincts since most moves require them to tuck the chin. This coupled with the precise positioning needed for the Stars Clash has resulted in the move being botched oh. numerous times. Oh. Oh. AJ Styles got Steve Stone. Styles oh my god! Oh. It just oh. makes me... No! Oh. Including when AJ Styles changed his body position midair to protect James Ellsworth from oh. hanging his neck on SmackDown in 2016. Styles clash! Oh, oh my God! Oh. Another time. Yeah, he didn't drop all his weight on him, which is good. Oh my gosh! It's such a. Styles saved his opponent after the Styles clash went wrong was during a match versus Stevie Richards in 2010. Realizing the danger, AJ shifted his body to minimize the impact and softened Stevie's landing as much as possible. Oh. My head 
is not looking back. Bad enough that I'm not gripping around AJ's legs as tight as I can, but my head is also tucked. My head needs to go in the opposite direction, away from me. Oh man, set him up for a Styles Clash. Look at this spot. Oh, oh my God. God. I would look at an example that is quite subtle, Ooh. but involved quick thinking. A Stone Cold Steve Austin battled Bret Hart at WrestleMania 13. During a melee on the outside, Austin crushed Bret on the guardrail and went to clothesline the hitman off into the crowd. Bret's arm ended up getting caught underneath Steve. So to prevent an injury, Austin went over the barrier with Bret. You can also see Bret oh. guiding the rattlesnake over with him. Did you see Bret's arm get caught up on, underneath me? I felt that pressure, so I went over with him to mm. let his arm get untrapped so he didn't break it. Ooh. The clothes light here and your arm got caught underneath me. I had to get off your arm so I didn't break it. Next, we'll go to an episode of WCW. Bro, that's once again, it's all about being aware of your surroundings and situations. And, you know, imagine him trying to wrestle the, the rest of the match with a broken arm. You know, a match that people have been looking forward to. So that's... That's what you call professional. <laughs> Nitro from 1999, where Eddie Guerrero was to perform a dive to the outside on rap duo Insane Clown Posse. As Guerrero went for the dive, his foot slipped on the ropes, resulting in a premature landing. Oh, oh my God. In his book, Eddie credited ICP for saving him from injury. Even though they had limited training, the clown's first instinct when things went wrong was to make sure Guerrero was safe. As you should, they moved up. Kurt Angle and Shane McMahon's brutal street fight from the 2001 King of the Ring saw the two men suffer mm -hmm. nasty injuries to the point where they could barely stand when the match was nearing its conclusion. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The finish was to be an angle slam from the top Ooh. rope. However, given the damage done to both wrestlers, Kurt believed he and Shane wouldn't have the stability to stand on the ropes together given their condition. But those little ropes where our feet wouldn't be able to really be stable and hit him with that finish, I don't think we could have done it. So Angle had placed a piece of plywood mm, on the top rope and his move from there, while referee Mike Kyoda held the board in place. And I seen it just coming off the corner of the rope, the corner of the board, just getting ready to fall. And I just sat there just trying to hold it the best. I, could. I held it enough, but I remember Linda coming up to me. Oh my God, Mike, great match, great job. And thank you for holding that, that plywood up there on the yeah. ropes. And wow. I'm like, and she caught that little bit. Of, she was the only one who mentioned that. Bro. Oh my well, God. Was, uh, this they literally destroyed each other's bodies just for our entertainment in that match. Jesus. Dave, courtesy of a security guard, was important due to the fatal action that could have occurred had he not intervened. As Dean Ambrose greeted fans after the end of a SmackDown in 2015, when a fan who was allegedly armed with a knife approached Ambrose only to be tackled down by security. Whoa. I've never seen this clip. Wow. The Undertaker's last ride can be a challenging move to pull off due to the extra lift that's required compared mm -hmm. to a traditional powerbomb. Woo! Tombstone! Oh my god. Undertaker almost in a, in a backbreaker. It's yeah, you gotta. Uh, you gotta get that extension, that momentum. An example of the last ride going wrong occurred when Taker had to deliver the move to Test on Raw in 2001. Getting Test up proved difficult as the dead man balanced against the ropes to reposition. <laughs> Meanwhile, Test shifted his weight to steady mm -hmm. himself and helped the Phenom hoist him back up. And then he got Next him. Thing, weapons and other objects can often be caught in the crossfire and as a result potentially cause harm to the competitors. So it's important to minimize such hazards yep. as much as possible. It's why you'll see referees and wrestlers hold onto ladders and move objects out of the way in order to protect themselves and other talent. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Smart thinking by it. Uh-huh. So he doesn't oh, land up on it. Yep. So he doesn't land on the chair. This is very reminiscent of what we saw at the horse show. Oh my god. Yeah, and then Finley he holds the ladder. Yep. 
Ref holds the ladder. Crazy spot. Ref holds the ladder again. Crazy spot. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah. Jeez. When it comes to the that was close. Injury, aerial moves rank right at the top of the list. We'll now take a look at moments where wrestlers went high risk but avoided disaster thanks to the help of their opponent. Oh, oh my god. Watch this after multiple distractions. Woo! Oh yeah, he he definitely saved him. Look at the speed, bro. Bro, Jesus Christ. And I know hard risk. And I know Jericho st stays helping people, man, <laughs> in the ring. <laughs> Y'all remember when um Neville was in WWE and I think he ended up getting injured and he purposely had to get disqualified so he can kind of, you know, save the image of the match. Jericho stays helping people in the ring, man. <laughs> I'm talking WCW. Oh. oh my goodness. Got him. Oh, Hooked him up. God. I thought maybe there was a broken neck there. WCW. Oh. Now, Brett, Hitman Hearts on board. And then people have saved Jericho, too. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they kind of held him. Oh, my God. Look at bro, look how strong he is. Look how strong he is, bro. Oh no, he, he caught him. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was that was a good recovery, bro. Very good recovery by Van Corbin. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Sammy saying. Who? Oh no. Oh no. And McIntyre. And McIntyre. And oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. And then Sasha was trying to make sure she was okay. He caught him for the most part. Oh, ooh. he got caught up in the ropes. Oh, whoa. He caught him in He got hung up by the ropes too. And the fact that he caught most of them. Exactly. That was a hesitation. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, I've never even noticed that. I've never even noticed Reigns actually move forward so he didn't just, you know, land on the canvas. If you enjoyed this That's video, crazy. Uh, that was a Look at this. What? Oh my he God. moved forward. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be wow. sure to check out our similar video on 20 minutes of hilarious fan shouts. That's, man, that's how you do it. That is how you do it. Dude, move forward and risked his back to let Kevin Owens fall on it. What you call a professional, man? Comment down below. Let me know some other instances where you clearly saw a wrestler save another wrestler from injury in the ring if it wasn't listed in this video. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on channel Road to 150K, and I'm still young, speedy YouTube wrestling tip of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.